Pack-in titles are the best way to see what your brand new console can do. And the CDI had a very interesting one. I am the Game Collector and this is Second Opinion Games. And today I do the review of International Tennis Opened for the CDI. Second Opinion Games. So I got International Tennis opened with my CDI brand new way back in the day. It wasn't the only pack-in, of course. It also came with Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia, which is about as exciting as reading an encyclopedia. So... I spent most of my time playing this tennis game. Now, most pack-ins really show off what a console can do. And this one did very similar. The controls are pretty much spot on and act exactly the way you think a regular controller would move your character around a screen. The buttons, however, don't seem to do anything. Now, in the instruction manual, it actually says holding a button will make the ball go faster or slower, or do the smash or a lob, but when I'm actually in the game and I try this, it seems spotty at best, and actually, you don't need to hit any buttons at all. Think of it as reverse Wii Sports Tennis. In that game, you have to swing and only swing. In tennis for the CDI, you just have to move your character, and it will swing when it's appropriate. So, when you miss, it's pretty much all on you for not being positioned in the right place. Before we jump into a real tennis game, you might as well jump in the practice mode, where you can play against a service machine, and hitting here is really difficult. This is actually harder than playing against some of the other guys in the game, and it even keeps track of your statistics and how well you returned. And also, you can practice your serves here. It's pretty cool. You could move your little cursor around the square, and you do have two tries, just like in real tennis tennis and you're gonna have to do this quite a bit to get the serving down just right also keeps track of your percentages so you could realize when you become a master or realize that you just stink and need a lot more practice if you want to play a single match well you could play against one of four grand champion tennis players well, I think they are. Honestly, I don't recognize any of these guys, but it's tennis. I'm not going to recognize any of these guys. Matter of fact, this is the game that taught me the odd rules of tennis. Yeah, like how when you score at first, it's 15 points, and then it's 30, and then 45, and then you win. Unless they also have 45, and then it's a deuce, which I guess means poop, because, ah, crap. I just had a deuce. And then also when you hit back over again, you would be at the advantage or disadvantage or the other person's advantage. I'm not quite sure, but this is how tennis works. And if you score six total points, you win the set. You play three sets, you win the entire match. Man, tennis is complicated, and it takes a rather long time. Luckily, there's also a save feature here, so if you're in a match and you want to come back to it, you can do that. Also, there is a demo mode, so when playing halfway through the game, you could just switch it over to that and watch the game play out. But it's not guaranteed you're going to win. There's also three different types of courts here. Grass, clay, and cement. Now, all three of them are supposed to have different attributes, like the ball moves faster on one than another, or, or bounces a little bit higher on one than another. But honestly, I don't see any difference. Maybe it actually does, and I just don't see it myself. Also, you might notice that the music here is a little on the lacking side. It's pretty much non-existent and i guess that is true to the way tennis actually is also the character models now even though you clearly saw that your opponent might have blonde hair you'll notice that everyone looks exactly the same and even when you move around the court your sprite doesn't scale uh so 
that's kind of weird as well. But the real draw of this game is the tournament mode, where you, against seven opponents, are in the semi-finals. And you could actually scroll over each character and get a little bit of a depiction of each person, which is not very useful at all. But it does show off the awesome power of the CDI, reading back to us by some famous announcer guy. And he does have a pretty good personality. Matter of fact, as you play through every single match, he'll talk and he rarely gets annoying. And if you really find him annoying, just tap the button real quick and he'll shut up and you'll go back to playing tennis as fast as possible. But you're really missing out if you do this because the announcer is most of the fun of the game. The sound effects all are perfect. And that's what the CDI really pulls off well. Sound effects, not so much on the graphics and gameplay. There's other little Easter eggs in here too, like showing off one of the mini CDI units, showing some highlight film stuff. And there's even a two player mode to play against a friend. But honestly, I've never played two player mode, so I don't know how that really works. Especially because I never had two working CDI controllers at one time. And I really like how your character is literally named Victor Player. I think that's pretty interesting as well. So now we get into the interesting question. Seeing that this is just tennis, a sports game, does it really merit being a good packing title for the CDI? Well, it shows off the audio capabilities quite well. And most CDI games, the controls are awful. And in this, they're actually pretty good. And I do appreciate appreciate how you don't have to press a button. If you did, then it would be excruciatingly difficult to play this game. As it is right now, your best bet is to find the sweet spot and continuously pound in aces when it's your serve. Each of the characters, by the way, has their own spots where they're absolutely horrible at returning the serve to you. So learning those is rather interesting. Each of the characters you might go up against also have different times where they just suck or they're really good in the game. So learning and exploiting these times are interesting as well. But most of the time, I just charge the net and return every single shot as hard and fast as I can. It seems to be the winning method and it it really gets the job done. So the gameplay is actually really good. Compared to most of the CDI games, this is very much appreciated, which is why I'm gonna say, yeah, International Tennis Open is a very good pack-in game for this console but it really doesn't stand out as far as eye appeal goes. But it does really show you what potential this console has. If we would have been shown Hotel Mario, we immediately would have played it for two seconds, thrown down the controller, and went back to playing our Super Nintendo. But after playing this, we would want to play more games like Dragon's Lair or even Burn Cycle. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Holy smoke, I'm glad I'm not that tennis ball. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it because I actually like this CDI. So if you also like this very retro forgotten about system, please let me know what your favorite game is for the console. And if you're wondering what my favorite game is, well, I'll probably let you know in the future, but I'm sure one of them 
is Lords of the Rising Sun, and I already did a full review of it. So if you haven't watched it yet, please go ahead and watch that, and maybe even stick around for some of my other content. I got some pretty good top tens. So until later, I will see you again, guys.